Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm giving you a DIY video in several ways in which I reuse my candles. So this is one of my favorite things to do when I burn up these Bath & Body Works candles. Um, I love reusing these jars because they're so nice and they're great for so many things. So this is the candle in Gelato. And oh my gosh, this smelled really good. This was in my empties video and I love it. It should have been in my favorites video too, but I didn't post a favorites video. But if I had posted a favorites video, this would have been in it because I love it. So this is gelato. It smells so good if they have it. Again, I would definitely recommend it. But the first thing I like to do when I use it up is I just peel off the label. Sometimes this gets tricky because sometimes they just don't want to come up. But these ones on the front are pretty easy and they peel right off. But it's the paper ones on the bottom that get to be a bit more of a pain because they don't like to peel right up. So one trick I have for this is just to soak it in warm water and that will help dissolve the label and then it should rub right off. And then after that I like to put it in the freezer. So I put the candle jar in the freezer and the key to this is not to freeze it for too long because if the glass gets too cold when you try to pop out the wax, the glass will definitely break. So please, please, please be careful doing this. Definitely don't put it in there for more than like 15 minutes or so. But by putting it in there and freezing the wax, the wax will crack right out if you just stab it a little bit. So once I remove the wax, um, the little wicks are also sometimes a pain to remove because they are like glued down so I just like to take like a spoon and scoop them out and these for once these actually came right out with it so I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty impressed with that so I like to reuse the wax so I'm just gonna take these metal pieces out because I have a wax melter so I just like to reuse them and then I like to use alcohol or witch hazel to really get the glue off that's like my biggest pain I think is just getting like the wax residue and the glue off and once you do that it is so easy to reuse these so the um, first way I've reused my candle jars and this is actually a Yankee candle jar. You can tell it's a little bit smaller, but I have a potted plant in this one. I love putting succulents in glass jars because I just think it's so cute and I like being able to see the dirt and the roots. You can also tell easily when you need to water your plant when it's in a glass jar. The key to just having plants in glass jars is not to overwater them because these do not have a drain on the bottom, so you can't drain the water out. So definitely make sure you don't overwater them. So this is another succulent I have. I definitely think I did overwater this one. It's not super happy, but as you can tell, the leaves are kind of dying in there. Which makes me so sad because succulents are supposed to be like the hardest plant to kill, and yet I've somehow killed mine. But yeah, I just like to do a layer of rocks at the bottom and then like the moss and the dirt and that just helps aerate it so if you do overwater it you definitely don't drown it too much so that is the first way in which I reuse my Bath and Body Works candles and I'll just put that back there so I went ahead and got all of my jars so I can show you how I reuse them and another way I reuse my candles is I just have all of my Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers in here and I think storing products like this is so cute because you can just see all of your hand sanitizers and you it's just like a really cute like practical decoration i have this in my bathroom so i can just grab one whenever i need it and i just think it's so cute because you can also see that i definitely don't need any more hand sanitizers but it's like a cute way of storing things another storage that i have and this one actually needs some work because i try to do a diy chalkboard label and write q-tips on it but it didn't work out that well. I had glued some ribbon around it to kind of make it prettier. But then it just looked bad so I peeled the ribbon off. But definitely doing that is one way of making it pretty. And they also sell labels already made with chalkboard paint. So you don't have to spray paint it yourself. Because that's what I did and that's why it got kind of funky. 
So I would definitely recommend buying the labels if you do want to label your things. But this is just full of Q-tips. I love having these in the bathroom because I think they're so pretty. They're simple, they're clean looking, and you can just have your daily products that you use right out in front of you and you can see because some storage containers that aren't clear is kind of a pain because until you get used to where everything is you can't see where it is so for me with these I know I have q-tips in here obviously so I just love that I love storing it like that I think it's super convenient and cute the next way I use my Bath and Body Works candles this is some homemade bath salts and I just put them in here because it's super easy to just kind of get a little scoop or a spoon or just sprinkle them in your bathtub when they're like this. And yeah, so I just like to store my bath salts in here. So like storing the bath salts, I also have this Lush Fun Soap that I put in here. And one thing I really like about this is this is a pretty airtight container. So once I opened these Lush soaps, I really didn't want to just leave them out because I was worried that they would dry out or they would lose their scent and I haven't really been using them that fast. Oh, they still smell so good. So I like to keep them in here with the lid on it because it is pretty airtight, which I really like. And this is just kind of basic. It's not labeled or anything. So I just keep this in my cabinet. Another way I use it is I also like the Q-tips. I have all my cotton pads in here. So I just have Q-tips cotton pads and um I just like to keep that like that because these are products I go to on a very daily basis so I love having it super convenient like this and I can see what I'm going for so that's another cute way I reuse that so the next this is another candle jar this isn't a Bath and Body Works candle jar but it is I think a Yankee candle one and I just have all of my wallflowers in here because I think they're super cute and fun little decoration and I don't know, I just love keeping things in glass jars because I just think they're cute. And so these are all of my wallflowers that I keep in there. And then lastly, this is one of my favorite ways to store lighters because I have, I'm like, I feel like a pyromaniac sometimes. But as you can tell, I've gone through a lot of candles. I'm burning one now. I just, I love Bath & Body Works candles. So... I keep all of my lighters and my matches and just all of these and this Bath & Body Works jar. And this one actually had a super cute lid. This was the Caribbean Escape scent from like two or three summers ago. And I love when they have lids like this because it's perfect because they're super cute and they add like a little decorative touch. And then this is the label I was talking about. This is a chalkboard label that's already done for you. I got these for like two or three dollars at the craft store just like an already done label and you can just write on it so I just have all of my lighters in here this one is cool it's like a little bullet but yeah I just have like a thing for lighters I love them so I definitely have a collection of them and another thing I like about keeping lighters in an airtight jar is that you won't have any potential accidents or hazards with them lighting because one time my boyfriend gave me a lighter because he thought it was really cool because someone had taken like the safety off of it and it when you lit it it went super high but I had an incident where I put it in my bathroom drawer and somehow I don't know how it happened but the lighter itself blew up and my entire drawer got like burnt and luckily we were like so lucky it didn't cause like a house fire or anything because I honestly didn't even know lighters did that but I mean I guess it makes sense with just like the click of a button and you can have flames so I guess it makes sense that they could be very flammable obviously and like hazardous so I really like keeping them just sealed off because it makes me feel safer and I don't ever feel like I'm gonna really have any problems with it like this so yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. These are all the ways I personally reuse my Bath & Body Works candles. I hope this video gave you some ideas and ways in which you could reuse your Bath & Body Works candles. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you did. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's that little red button down there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh.
as you guys can tell I definitely have quite the candle collection I have some more over here and then here's two of the ways I reuse my candles and then also in that pink basket I have the like mason jar style candles that are kind of like that one but yeah I have so many candles so I thought it was best if I found a way to reuse the jar here is my little bathroom closet and there's another way in which I reuse my candle jars um, I have the q-tips cotton swab lush body products and also the bath salts in there so that's how I stored those so definitely reduce reuse and recycle ah!